All right, Coach, back on the road taking on the Indianapolis Colts, and you're on a long road trip right now. Yeah, we are. We, we're making some really uh, interesting trips, but uh, last week we didn't play a very good football game, unfortunately, against the Vikings. We didn't come out um, and, and really take control uh, like you want to do on the road, and this week gives us another opportunity to show what kind of team we are. Yeah, but the one guy who did show up was Waller, your tight end. He was pretty special, and we got some highlights of him in this game. And, and uh, he's really, you know, you think about what he's doing so far. He's been one of the best in football so far in 2019. Well, in his first year as a starter, I'm really proud of what he's done. And uh, I can say that a lot about all of our rookies. Josh Jacobs, Ingold, Hunter Renfro, Foster Moreau. Here's a, a first-year starter, Darren Waller here, number 83 on the right side of your screen. Tony, he's not just doing it as a pass receiver. He had 13 catches. I mean, that's great, the statistical glory that comes with that. But here he is in maximum protection against Daniil Hunter, one of the best pass rushers in the league. And he blocked him twice, and then the next time we threw a little screen, and uh, we fooled him this time, and you see Waller's speed and uh, athleticism after the catch. He's got an unbelievable future here because of his versatility. We can line him up. Uh, as a wide receiver, as we did here at the top of the screen. He played wide receiver at Georgia Tech in college, so he can run a full route tree as a wide out, and he's a lot bigger than you and I. He's like 6'5", <laughs> 257 pounds, and he's a great kid. He's going to be one heck of a Raider. And I can tell you, you know, being on the sidelines, you can see the size difference. I mean, and he's and, and he's kind of like a basketball player. He he knows how to use his size. Oh, he does. He's got a lot of instincts that are rare, hard to coach, hard to find. And his, it's his versatility, though, that's going to separate him in the coming years. He can block as a conventional tight end. He can do all the things that a slot receiver can do, the things a wide receiver can do. And uh, he is uh, just getting started. So we're really excited about his progress. And you can really see through two games – the, the communication that he has with Derek Carr. No doubt. And uh, for a young player, really, it's a converted wide receiver. Uh, he's a great story in pro football right now. And talking about tight ends, move on to the Colts. They got a couple good tight ends. You think about what they got with Doyle hey, and Ebron. They got some good tight ends here. Yeah, and actually, they use three at a time as they are here. Three tight ends. The one thing the Colts can do is can run. they can run the football. They've got a lot of first-round picks on this offensive line. They've been together now. They've got some continuity. Jacoby Brissett can turn around and hand the ball off to Mack, who's a very good runner. And it sets up some nasty play-action passes. And here you see Doyle, uh, who's a jack-of-all-trades. He can play fullback. He can play tight end. He's just a heck of a player, but it's the run action that really makes the Colts dangerous. If they can get the running game going, they have a ton of different play-action passes that Frank Reich and the Colts can dial up. Yeah, so, I mean, you think about what you have with him. You have Ebron here that you're going to see. A lot of versatility, as we like to say, with the tight end group. Well, Ebron's a pro bowler. Here he is on the wing. They run a shovel pass. Uh, once again, a lot of run action. Uh, you get dirty eyes. You get bad eye control. A lot of eye candy there for these linebackers. And sometimes they take their eyes off of Eric Ebron. He scored double-digit touchdowns last year. Uh, they use these two tight ends creatively. And uh, it's going to be a challenge for us on the road in Indiana. You know, one guy we got to know real well here in the Bay Area was Andrew Luck. And I know you got to know him. And the fact that Andrew is no longer going to play football and retired, you know, that, that's a tough situation to go into season right before and you lose your quarterback. No doubt. You know, we lost a player before the season just like the Colts did. And uh, it's a credit to Indianapolis for having the foresight to go out and get Jacoby Brissett. Remember, Andrew Luck was hurt. They needed Brissett to play and play well, and he did do that. Uh, but they have overcome a lot of adversity, and fortunately for them, they've got a very capable quarterback in Jacoby Brissett. Well, back on the road this week against the Indianapolis Colts, and uh, this is where you build your character, right, on the road. You know, this is what you have to do, and the schedule's not going to get any easier. Uh, the more complaining you do about it, uh, the, less, the less you get done. So we got to concentrate on playing one game at a time, whether it's here or there or anywhere. we got to play better and we got to coach better, and that's what we're set out to do. Let's go get a victory, Coach. You got it, Townie. Thanks, man.